Good morning, folks. This is Sunday morning, and I'm going to start the day off with I think I did a oops. Um, I've been real busy doing all these different removals, and I took a colony out here. I think it came from a water meter. I forgot to take the queen out of the clip. Uh, it's been about seven days already, maybe eight. So uh, check it out. You'll see we got a little bit of a ant activity. It's not a lot, but it's enough to remind me that I need to put some outdoor taro ant bait stakes. So it's not going to become a compounding issue. Okay, so the good news is the queen is still alive. Well, folks, that was lucky. I'm sure you probably didn't see that on camera, but um, I got lucky. The queen was still alive. She was running around. I pulled out a frame, and I just opened up the clip, and I watched her run out on a piece of comb. So, boy, I got lucky on that one. It's important to track your time when you do things, when to do the next thing. Uh, again, it's all part of the management process. So, note to self, I gotta start taking notes at least scribbling it down on a piece of a notepad, keep it in my truck as a reminder. Let me take you on a little tour for this new yard. I don't think I've done a video yet, and I call this the E yard. My buddy Randy, his last name starts with the letter E. I have the A yard for my buddy Adrian's backyard. I got my B yard for my backyard. I got the C yard, which is my neighbor Claudia. And I have the D yard for my friend Dave, he's a DJ, and now this is the E yard. I hope to get this at least maybe eight colonies strong. My goal is to have multiple yards, maybe within a 10, 15, 20 mile radius that has no more than eight to 10 colonies a piece. This is a way for me to make sure that one area isn't oversaturated with too many bees. And again, it really gives me a chance to, to put bees somewhere where they can thrive in peace without worrying about competition or predators etc. Okay and here's just a panoramic view to get you guys familiarized with this area. We got the main highway is way up there and then we have this old it's a dirt well it's a paved road uh, but it is a dead end. You'll see we have all these trees Brazilian pepper uh, there's probably some Malaluca in there but lots of forage all the way down this old dead end road and from what I was told um, down this way there is orange groves maybe a quarter mile there's a patch of orange groves there let's keep on panning across so this is my buddy Randy's property here way back in that house and the bee yard is behind it that's where we were So gorgeous space, lots of forage when these trees are in bloom, lots of weeds. Again, look at here, we got a plethora of Spanish needle, Biden's Elba. So it's really not too developed at all. And I do believe this is a Chinese tallow. You can see. You can see some of the fruits. So before these trees go into, into fruit production, they put out lots of little flowers that bees love. Look at this branch, is just covered. 
Again, this is Chinese tallow. But all this open space out here. It's gorgeous. We got neighbors over on that way. It's a gorgeous property. Again, these vehicles will get moved out eventually. We got nice, well, I think that's bamboo. And we do have a source of water here. Again, there are chickens and ducks on the property. We got drownless waterers too. We got lily pads. So you know the bees will be landing on them, getting water as they need it. And yes, this is bamboo, because you can see mistakes. Beautiful, huge things of bamboo. I'm going to assume this is a clumping bamboo because it's not really spreading. Again, this area over here is his land as well. We got neighbors on that side. He does go around and mow all this in the back. So this is very nice, very nice space. And we're getting a little closer to the bee yard area. Again, the water source extends down this way. It ends down over here. Very nice space back in here. Again, this is an area where they do have their gun range from time to time they shoot their guns out here and just around the the dumpster there is where the little bees are tucked away and again this is all getting revamped it's always in the process of getting cleared out They got their chicken coops and their and their ducks back in there. So that's pretty much it. You guys, just a little tour of the new E yard. Hopefully, uh, as time progresses, you guys will see more of my videos over here. So as always, I want to say thank you again for following my progress. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. Hit that little bell so you're always going to be notified of when I upload a video. Okay, folks, so a while back uh, you may have seen my video of the double window removal. Uh, I had a huge hive that I removed uh, from between a window that was boarded up and there was another little tiny one that was up in the corner. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll try to post a link up here. Uh, check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the box and see how they're doing. Okay, so these two colonies here are from the double window removal. I have not opened them since I brought them over here. So let me just take a quick peek and we'll see what's going on. Smashed about six high beetles. I'm looking between the frames and there are bees between every single frame. Good lordy. They pack this right up. They are definitely ready for a second box. I do see a bit of cross combing here between these two frames, maybe these three frames but it's just towards the end. It looks like honey. Holy solid frames of brood, Batman. That is an absolutely solid frame of brood. And it looks like they're all like that. So I gotta get a box on these girls quick. So another way to check 
a colony that's bursting with bees is to just tip up the box and then look between the frames. So I don't see any peanuts hanging down. I did take a lot of the uh, rubber bands off the bottom board, but they look good. Let's put them back. Let's take a look inside of this little nuke here. Oh yeah, they're stuffed. They do have some empty space back here still. So they haven't completely filled up all these frames. There's a bit of cross combing going on here. I would be confident enough to transfer these into a 10 frame, so that's what we'll do in the next time out. So beekeeping action items. Uh, I need a 10 frame bottom board and a 10 frame box for this colony. Another 10 frame box for that colony. We got down over at the end, we got that nuke down there. That also can use a 10 frame. And on the very end, that could also use another. Uh, actually, that's I pulled out three empty frames there, so we're gonna monitor them to see if there's a queen.